Hi, my name is Michael, and welcome to today's lesson on seeding your rsync server. This is the last of five lessons that will teach you how to set up a successful rsync backup. The first time you perform a full backup using rsync, you transfer all your files to the rsync server, often located off-site. If your internet connection is not fast enough to accommodate the large amount of data being transferred, the entire process becomes slow and impractical. So what is seeding? Seeding is the process of backing up data locally using rsync and then physically transporting the backup to your off-site location. Seeding is a faster method for transferring data from your rsync client to your rsync server because it avoids the internet bandwidth issue. Typically, we would always seed our first rsync backup or every time we enable or disable encryption for an rsync backup job. Today, we'll show you two methods for seeding your rsync server. One, bring your rsync server on site to perform the seed. And two, seed a permanently off site rsync server. Let's take a closer look at option one. This method is suitable for rsync servers that are portable and are not shared among multiple clients. To begin, we need to bring our rsync server on site and connect it to the local area network, taking note of its IP address. Next, Open Backup Assist and create a new rsync backup job as shown in our previous four lessons. If your backup was successful, move your rsync server back to its permanent location. Finally, update your job settings with the new IP address. Launch the Backup Assist console. Click Jobs from the menu bar. Select your rsync job and click Destination from the left menu. Then enter the new IP address for your rsync server and click Apply Changes. Now let's look at option two, seeding a permanently off-site rsync server. To do this, we need to seed the data on-site using a USB hard disk drive, which can then be moved to the rsync server and uploaded from there. So let's begin. First, connect an external hard drive to the machine running Backup Assist. Launch the Backup Assist console. Click Jobs from the menu bar. Select your rsync job and click Destination from the left menu. Now, click the Seed Backup button. Select the location of an empty folder on your external hard drive. Once the seed is complete, your destination should contain the following. 1. A directory with the seeded data. 2. A readme.txt file containing instructions on how to copy the seed to your rsync server. 3. A .sh script file, which is used to copy your data to your rsync server. Take the external hard drive and connect it to your off-site rsync server. Finally, follow the instructions contained in the readme.txt file located on your external hard drive to copy the seed to your rsync server. So, it's that simple. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on seeding your rsync server. And as always, Written instructions on this lesson are available on our website at the following address. Bye for now.